So I want to show you how to use the ADB push command to send files to your device. Now for this to work naturally you're going to have to have ADB tools installed somewhere on your computer. And if you're actually in Android you're going to need to have the USB debugging mode option enabled and you're going to need to have USB debugging mode access granted from the PC you're sending files to. This is a security layer so it prevents people from stealing your phone or tablet and then sending malicious files to it without knowing your pin pattern or password. So once we have USB debug debugging mode set up on our, on our phone, we have our phone connected to the PC and we have brought up a command prompt or PowerShell, we can then begin the tutorial. So here's the command we are going to be using. As mentioned, it's ADB space push. And then you're going to need to type out the file name and or the location of the file you want to upload. So the best idea here is to move any of the files that you want to send to your smartphone into the same folder as your ADB exe file is. That way whenever you open up the command prompt you can just type in adb space push the file name that you want to send and then you choose to designate where you want to send that file. Now the forward slash sd card location is just going to be the root folder of your internal storage. But you can also change this to sd card forward slash downloads or download as that is typically the default location for the download folder on Android once you have that typed out just go ahead and press enter on the keyboard you're gonna see that that file has been pushed and that's going to be sent to the downloads folder and just to give you an example as mentioned you can also do the SD card location again we just gonna press enter on the keyboard it has sent and pushed that file to our device so now when we turn our attention back to our device that we have sent that file to we can see the file is now this is the internal memory that like I said that is the root storage of your internal of the root folder of your internal storage that was the second command we sent the first command sent it to the downloads folder so it just depends on where you want to send that file to usually there's not a big difference on if you send it to SD card or SD card download it's usually, usually just where you want to store that file in the first place. And that all that's all there is to it. That is how to send a file from the PC to your smartphone or tablet using the ADB push command.